All right, folks, welcome back. This is our quest for completion, Bellatro every day until we unlock and complete everything. Uh, to start off here, we're just going through each deck, getting a win on each deck. On the base difficulty, uh, you do unlock additional decks as you win on certain decks. And so that's what we're trying to do, at least to start here. Uh, we did red deck first, uh, blue deck next, and then you know we'll move on to the next one. Uh, before we move on to the yellow deck, um, our blue deck ended up being particularly exciting. And so even after getting our first win, uh, the plan is to continue on into endless mode and then see how much further we can take this run. So if we go here and just continue where we left off, you know, potentially there are some unlocks that we can get in endless mode. Uh, for example, one of the vouchers, the unlock condition is you reach anti 12. So we'll be trying to do that. Uh, if we look at the deck here, you know, over the course of just eight antis, we're able to morph the deck into almost entirely these kings of diamonds. Um, and then we've got a few extra cards that we're holding on to, hoping to get rid of them. Uh, this is coming from the power of the Vagabond. Every time you play a hand, you get a tarot card. These tarot cards then help us morph our deck into what we want to make. The idol, uh, well, for starters, you know, most of our scoring is we're going to be doing the flush five. If we've got all kings of diamonds, we play five of those, we get a flush five. Uh, noting here, we skipped. Uh, there is no five of a kind we didn't do. Uh, there is no uh, flush house. We didn't do that one either because by not unlocking those on purpose, it makes it easier, us easier for us to find these planet cards and then we won't see the five of a kind planet card. Now, we do get some additional scoring uh, from the idol. The idol says, okay, it's gonna pick a random card every round, and then when you play that card, two times each time. So if I play five kings of diamonds, that's times 32 from just this one joker, from just the idol. And the way that it selects a card is it uniformly selects a card at random from your deck, and so if I have more kings of diamonds, it's more likely to be a king of diamonds, sometimes it'll be something else. If I have, if I get rid of these cards that are not kings, if I have 100% kings of diamonds, then the idol will only ever pick king of diamonds. It will only ever be active. It will never be turned off by, you know, maybe picking ace of clubs, for example. And so that's, you know, short term, that's our goal is to try to get rid of the rest of these cards, noting that uh, a stone card also will not be selected by the idol. So, turning a card into stone is about the same as removing it from the deck. Anyway, we'll just continue on here and then try to go as far as we can. Uh, in the last ante, we're able to pick up the voucher tag. So here we have in the shop two vouchers. Uh, the magic trick I'm not really interested in because it's going to add playing cards to the shop and I don't want to be adding playing cards to my deck. These are just plain playing cards, by the way. No enhancements uh, on these cards from the magic trick. Uh, however, we do get an unlock for buying 10 vouchers, and so I am gonna take it just to get that unlock out of the way. Um, and they also would get an unlock for here with the, sorry, not an unlock, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy the overstock voucher. So we just need one more voucher uh, in the next ante and then we'll have that unlock. Uh, also overstock is just good, actually good. If I have more slots here, I have more options. Uh, I want to open up these arcana packs looking for an opportunity to use my hanged man. So here I've got the one ace instead of two cards that I could possibly hit with the hanged man. So I think we're gonna hold off on this hanged man. Uh, instead, what we'll do is, you know, maybe I can take $13 here or a random possibly addition on my jokers. Let's go for that. Arcana pack again. 
So here, because I was patient with the hangman, I now have the opportunity to get rid of these two cards. And, you know, if I didn't get it here, then in the next round, I would have, you know, drawn and discarded and then tried to look for those remaining cards. So now I've just got four cards that are not kings, you know, not counting the stone cards. Uh, here I've got, okay, you know, maybe I could go emperor to get more tarot cards. What I'm going to do, actually, this gold seal card, I looked at the collection and I saw that you get a, an unlock for making a gold card with a gold seal. Just like that. All right, and now to activate the Vagabond, we have to get $3 or less. So I will just be doing some re-rolling here, potentially looking for more unlocks. Uh, here it's going to cost us four dollars so let's just sell this and then roll like that all right a uh, hundred thousand should be no problem for us let's see here i do get an unlock for what is it for playing a hand that's all five gold cards. So maybe let's try to look for all five gold cards. By discarding here, uh, I will use the lovers, just get rid of it. Let's see here, we've got the purple seal gold card. Do we have enough other gold cards? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I do technically have enough gold cards. Uh, but maybe I'll hold on to that one. Maybe what I'll do is I'll play this ace as a way of trying to break this glass. Maybe. If not, that's okay. Wheel of Fortune again. Uh, moon. Just to get rid of it. Uh, I don't, I don't want to sell it because I don't want to, uh, you know, get the money above three here. Uh, now I've got the steel cards that I can discard, this lucky card that I can discard. Random Joker. Okay, Riff Raff we don't need, but I don't want to sell it yet because of the Vagabond. All right, so now I do have all of my gold cards. Um, before, let's see here. I was going to say... You know, before using my discard here, play these kings. But I don't want to play these kings because these are kings that have the gold seals on them. So actually, I'm going to discard these. Okay. And then, okay, I ended up getting, now I have all of my gold cards. So we'll go ahead and play those. Magician. I don't need, so I'll just throw it away here. Star, another gold card if I wanted it. Um, I don't really need that, so I'll just go ahead and do this. Let's play the stone card. You know, there is a chance that the lucky card gives us money and then it deactivates our Vagabond. Uh, now if I want to use this judgment, I have to sell something. So that's going to deactivate my Vagabond anyway, isn't it? And then the world here, I'm not able to use it because I want to keep these as diamonds. So that's okay. What we'll do is we'll sell these and then we'll play this one. Uh, I don't want to play the gold seals. All right, Chariot here, Magician. I could, in the future, something that I might be interested in doing is making a Steel card with a Red Seal. That's gonna re-trigger the Red Seal. That could be useful to me. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll do uh, this Lucky one, make it into Steel. And I am going to, since I'm on my last two hands here, now I don't have to worry as much about the Vagabond not giving me my value. I will get the tarot cards even though I have the money here. Okay, so that's something that we discovered in the last run with the Vagabond is 
This checks at the beginning, before your hand is scored, when you first play it. Even if you get money from gold seal cards, even if you get money from lucky cards, you still get the tarot cards. Uh, here, now I can just go ahead and sell these. And then play, like I said, five gold cards is going to give us an unlock. And if we wanted to score more points, I could move the blueprint onto either the idle or the dusk for the re-triggering effect. Uh, but it's plenty of points. We don't have to worry about it. We do get an unlock for scoring more than 100 million points. And we've done that quite easily. All right, some celestial packs here. We're looking for flush five. Before I open these, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to buy these, re-roll in the shop, Let's see here, okay, good king of diamonds on the idol. I said we still have the four non-king of diamonds. All right, so here we've got Earth, Jupiter, Pluto, Uranus. And if I wanted to, I could use the high priestess as well. So now when I open up the celestial pack, it'll give me three planets that are different from these, no duplicates. We did not get the one that we were looking for, but that's okay, we've got uh, flush five as our highest, and then we've got four of a kind kind of as our backup here. Here's Eris again, or our backup four of a kind. All right, uh, rolling through the shop here, let's go ahead and I do want the priestess for another chance to get uh, Eris. If not, that's okay. We've got another Mars here. We don't need it super much. All right, now I have to find a way to get below $3. Like we're at $3 now, but we want to go lower if we can. So maybe something like if I buy this sells for two and then I can buy the droll joker and that takes me to zero and then I can just use these to get rid of them all right uh, we could get 15 bucks or we will get much more value from just playing it out uh, I keep saying uh, to look ahead at what the boss is going to be and I never actually do that, but I say that it's good practice. So looking ahead here, we've got all face cards debuffed. That is going to be unfortunate. That is gonna be uncomfortable, potentially. Uh, you know, if our kings are debuffed, we don't get any value from our idol here. We don't really have any other scoring jokers other than just the idol and potentially copying it with the dusk. And so it's so maybe something to think about I do have the boss reroll voucher. And so to do this, this costs $10. I wanna make sure that I have $10 left to do that. Okay. Now, uh, I wanna to try to break the glass again. So here I'll play the ace and then maybe I can throw away uh, one of these kings like that. Wheel of Fortune. All right, let's, we've got a lot of kings that we don't necessarily need to use. So we'll take all these, we'll discard getting a hermit. I am just gonna use it now uh, because I you know, don't want the money to go up because of the Vagabond. Uh, here's another opportunity for us to discard looking for, you know, the rest of our lucky cards and our gold seal cards, which are giving us money. All right, here we have one more purple seal left in the deck. So what we said last time was, instead of using our discard now, we'll play our hands, maybe something like this. And if I'm gonna do that, I'll get rid of the ma Magician. I could have just played it, I could have played it. Oh, yeah, be careful. 
Okay, three of a kind is safe. Three of a kind is not going to score too many points. We want to make sure that we don't overscore is sometimes an issue. Uh, we can use the fool to get an emperor here. Star I don't need. Fool again for another emperor. Sure. This droll joker. Give me another one. All right, supernova, I think we already have unlocked. Aha, this is it, this is the combo. We got the hangman and we got the fool. So, we have the eight in hand and we have another eight in the deck. I'm looking to draw that second eight. So let's get rid of, here's three kings. That should be safe. Oh wait, I forgot that one has a gold seal. Uh, that's okay. It's not a, it's not a problem. Uh, let's see here. One, two. So we're not going to get any more vagabond value, but I think the ship has sailed on that anyway. We've got five cards left in the deck. So if I play two or three cards, then we should get there. So I'll go ahead and play these. I meant to play those, not discard them. Yikes. That's okay. Uh, so here with the stone card and if I just play these I'll draw two if I play one more I'll draw the last card here. I can use the hangman I can use the fool for another hangman and now the only thing left to do is get rid of the ace and the five All right, so we'll play Let's see here. What do we have left in the deck? We've got the one king and it's a gold king. So maybe we'll do here we'll play one king. And if I do four of a kind, four of a kind will definitely win. We get a few extra bucks compared to if I play the uh, flush five. Still a perfectly reasonable 11 million. All right, we're looking for in the Arcana pack, I wanna remove those cards. So here we've got the idol staying on the King of Diamonds, but I do need to remove these so I don't accidentally land on those. Uh, I've got the Ace here. Since I have the opportunity, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of the Ace with the Hangman, and then the Fool will just give me a copy which I can save for later. Now I don't have to worry about drawing both in the same hand. Now all I have to do is get that five of diamonds. Should be no problem. All right, opening the buffoon pack, looking for unlocks. So here we've got two of these. Uh, Swashbuckler gives you molt for the sell value of your jokers. So for example, I've got $10 here, $9 here that was coming from we had gift card earlier in the run which raised the sell value and so you know this would give me some molt there uh remember all of this plus molt that we get this happens after the idol it gives all of these times molt here so you know not going to contribute very much obviously this is not going to matter that much either uh, we're not playing tens or fours so between the two of these i'll just pick up the swashbuckler for the unlock All right, looking for more unlocks. Troubadour is actually useful, legitimately. The extra hand size for, you know, potentially extra gold cards, potentially extra steel cards. Or if I just have more cards in hand, I can find my five easier, remove it with the hanged man. Uh, Obelisk we did in our first run on the red deck, you know, getting mm, times four molt with it. Uh, looking for more All right, so this is a new one here the way that you unlock the throwback joker is by just continuing a run That's how you unlock it And so we've got here the throwback gives us a uh, times molt for each blind that we've skipped uh, Most of the time skips are not going to be worth it. They don't necessarily punish you too much But they're not typically optimal if you skip except for a few rare circumstances but this could be one of those incentives, you know, if you get this throwback joker early enough in a run, that could be an incentive to skip more than you would normally. 
with this sort of scaling uh, multiplicative bonus here. All right, looking for more. Got the Ares card up to level 14 now. And then now how do I get below $3? I can sell this, pick up the banner, sell it, pick up the Wily Joker. We're now down to $2. So if I just use the Neptune, then we're good. Uh, remember that thing I said about saving 10 bucks? Uh, we didn't. So now we can't. Now we gotta live with all of our face cards debuffed. All right, good luck. Uh, we do have 680 times 55. I don't know how much that is. <laughs> uh, but I can get rid of the five. So let's just fire in the hole and see what we get. Um, you know, maybe there could be some incentive for, we'll copy the Wily Joker. Plus 100 chips on top of, you know, the 680 here. So this is something that I was talking about um, at the beginning of the run. Way back in time, this run started with the Square Joker, which has this stacking chips. Every time you play exactly four cards, you get plus four chips. And so you can grow it uh, forever if you want. Uh, even if you got up to like plus 200 chips or something like that. Once we have high enough level poker hands, you know, here's 600 chips, 700 chips, an extra plus 100 is not actually contributing that much. All right, even though these are debuffed, we do still get 60,000. And so if I'm somehow able to find, you know, four of those 60,000, that will give me 220,000. All right, let's use the tarot card just to get rid of it here's another five kings wild card uh, i'm not going to use it because it would turn the stone into you know whatever card it used to be by the way when you turn something into a stone the card remembers what it used to be, what rank it used to have, what suit it used to have. So if I turn this into wild or if I turn this into glass, it'll reveal what it used to be. But if I change the suit on these, then they stay stone. It's only if I change the enhancement from stone to a different enhancement like glass or gold. And then there we go, we've got uh, five here and in the deck, uh, we've got another set of five kings. You know, we could go up to even uh, 300,000. But that was definitely, that was a major misplay. We were supposed to save $10 for the boss reroll, but we didn't. My bad. All right, we've now got the opportunity, uh, the voucher for the unlock. Uh, some jokers that we've already gotten before. Let's do the voucher. Let me get another voucher unlocked here. All right, going in, we've got death. We can make a copy. So what do I want to copy now? My polychrome cards, those are gonna be my highest scoring cards. So we'll go ahead and make another copy. And then with fool, we can make another death card. Perfect. All right, hold on. Check the boss. What's the boss? Okay, after your hand is played, cards are drawn face down. Not gonna be a problem for us. Uh, with this death card, let's go ahead and do another of these stone cards, or actually, instead of this stone, or instead of this polychrome card, I have plenty of polychrome cards in the deck. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another purple seal so we can get tarot cards from the Vagabond and also extra more tarot cards from our purple seals. And we can throw away the kings because we don't need them. Not now anyway. Uh, star I can use. Glass I don't necessarily want to use right now. Maybe this is something I can invest in in the future. 
you know, if I have like an emergency scoring situation. Let's hear the purple seal, discard these. Uh, do I want more gold cards or am I happy with the lucky cards? I think I'm gonna stick with the lucky cards. Uh, I'm going to, here's another discard. I'm gonna throw away one of these lucky cards because I happen to know that I have more in the deck. And you know, here with this magician, I can make another one if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna sell it. All right, now I'm going to play these cards. I've got five cards left in the deck. I'm looking for, uh, here's the one lucky card. So I can just play these one at a time. We'll do that since I have the six hands left. Um, and then that way I have this death card. Um, I don't have any more purple seals. I would like to make another purple seal, but since I can't, let's make another red seal. And then this red seal, maybe we can turn it into a steel card or maybe we can just keep it as a red seal gold for the money. Uh, the magician, we don't need priestess gives us some more stuff we don't need. All right, Empress, uh, I do end up using it so that I don't go above $3. That's okay. We'll just do this. And then we'll play another king. Judgment here, uh, if I sell the Wily Joker, that's gonna take me above $3. Uh, so, But that does the same if I sell the Judgment. Um, I can't use the Strength card because I don't wanna turn these kings into not kings. So I guess we're done with the Vagabond. So let's sell here. Scary face, doesn't matter. And in the deck here, I said I had my lucky card, I ended up drawing it. So we'll do this. Uh, there, if we played another hand, we would have activated the dusk and the dusk gives us a retrigger on all of our gold seals. So we would have gotten more money if we used an extra hand. Uh, something to keep in mind in the future. Use the Dusk to get extra value from our gold seals. All right, we've got some more unlocks here, so we'll get rid of the scary face. Four fingers makes it easier to make straights and flushes and straight flushes and other flush variants like flush house and flush five. But since we have all of our cards are kings of diamonds anyway, we don't need that. Um, the bean gives us hand size, temporary hand size. It goes down each round. But for now, if I take the bean, when I open the Arcana pack, I can use the extra hand size to look at more cards and have more options here. If I want to think about removing cards from the deck. Um, I think I am not interested in removing cards from the deck. And so, you know, I said this, uh, you know, I put out a video where I went into, you know, anti 25 and I, you know, tried to survive as long as I could. And I want to have different options in my deck. I want to have some purple seal cards. I want to have some red seal cards. I want to have some steel cards, some gold cards, some polychrome cards. So instead of reducing everything down with the hangman, I'm just going to keep it kind of spread between the different options and we will use the temperance for the $25 right now. Uh, Celestial pack before I open that we'll do our re-rolling. So here we've got three planet cards. Show me some different ones like this Eris card. Now 720 chips. All right, we have the opportunity for uh, another banana and whatever kind of scoring opportunity that presents us with. Uh, we do have 
There is an unlock for beating the boss in one hand without using any discards. So I think that's what I want to try to do. And if that's the thing that I want to try to do, uh, which is better, having this plus five hand size or having this times three molt. Uh, noting here with the plus five hand size, if I get, you know, out of my five cards, if I have two extra steel cards, that's worth uh, times 2.25 already. Um, and so that's almost as much as a times three. So I think this is actually going to, in the, in the short term, this is gonna give us more points to try to one shot this boss. All right, we've got uh, another hangman, which we don't need. We've got uh, ice cream, which maybe we wanna get the unlock for. Uh, okay, if I wanna get the unlock for the, the ice cream, I have to get rid of the turtle bean. That's probably fine. I think we can one shot the boss anyway with just the power of the idol. And even without using our dusk, all right, we're down to zero dollars, so we can go use these planets and go next. All right, purple seal cards, discard the steel ones, and hold on to the lucky ones. Uh, same situation with the judgment here, so we will sell for two dollars, use the judgment. Death, I think I will hold on to, trying to make more purple seals. So here's one, two, three, four, here's the steel ones I can get rid of. Here's more steel ones that I can get rid of. Now, if I want to make another purple seal card, do I want it to be lucky or do I want it to be steel? Let's go with steel since it's worth more points. So we'll go here, steel card, lucky. Uh, I should have used the moon on the card before I transformed it because now when I sell this, that's going to give me another dollar. We're going to use our last discard here Strength, I can't use. Star, I could if I want to throw that away like that. Let's go ahead and... Maybe now I don't care as much about... You know, the Vagabond is not going to be able to do its thing anyway. Let's try to get this, uh, you know, retrigger value on our gold seal cards now. So let's play our hands and in between these uh this red seal is going to give us six bucks if we don't play it so i'll play the one king and then now on the final hand i'm going to copy the dusk and then get even more gold seal action. All right, potentially some more unlocks here. Uh, we've got the hologram joker. Rewards you for adding cards to your deck. Uh, is not something that I want to do right now. Uh, here's Erosion rewards you for having cards, less cards in your deck, right? So if we have uh, 28 cards is 34 removed from the deck. Is that how that works? Or is it 24 or something like that? Uh, this gives us four molt. Uh, for each of those and so you can see here. This is plus 96 almost plus 100 is normally pretty good except because we have all the times two from the idol uh, And this happens after that then this is uh, At least right now not useful to us, but could be useful uh, in another situation 
uh, Arcana pack here gives the opportunity to pick up more money. And we could... Now that I have my deck is 100% uh, Kings of Diamonds, maybe now I don't need to worry about doing the Vagabond anymore. Maybe now what I want to do is I do get an unlock for saving up to $400. Let's try that. Let's try to get $400 uh, not using this Vagabond anymore. All right, let's make that happen. Uh, this boss, let's try to beat the boss in just one hand. And so here's a polychrome card. Here's, I want to play my gold seal cards for the money. Lucky card. That will probably do it. I would guess if I copy the idol here. Easy 38 million. All right, Hieroglyph here gives us minus one ante. We said last time minus one ante. That is the same as basically all of the score thresholds go down. Um, or another way to think of it is this gives you three extra rounds before you get back to wherever it is that you started from. Uh, this gives us minus one hand per round. We have the six hands per round. Uh, we're not necessarily using all those hands. We no longer want to do the Vagabond stuff. So I feel perfectly fine picking this up. Uh, and let's pick up, you know, here more unlocks. So Erosion can turn into Delayed Gratification. Rewards us for not using our discards. Uh, maybe that's something that we want to do now. Now, with all the Kings of Diamonds, I can always win in one hand, in the first hand, and so I don't need to be discarding. Uh, if we go to the Buffoon pack here, uh, we've got none of these are new, but I can still potentially get some sell value from them, so I'm just going to pick up one of these uncommons by selling the Vagabond, picking up uh, card sharp, I guess, and then so it sells for two bucks because it's an uncommon. Well, it's an uncommon, and then we also have the discounting voucher, so it sells for uh, two instead of three. Standard pack, there isn't really anything that I'm looking for. If I got a card that was a red seal and a polychrome card, that could be potentially worth it, though I would need to turn it into a king of diamonds. So, rare that I find something that I'm actually interested in doing. But since we have the money, might as well buy it. Uh, I'm not going to re-roll. We said we're going to save up $400 for the unlock that comes with that. All right, uh, in the next round here, the I no repeat hand types. So if we just win in one hand, that'll be perfectly fine. And we already know we can get a million points. Uh, okay, here I could play without discarding and then get the money from the delayed gratification. Or if I use my discards, I could use the purple seals to get tarot cards. I think I get more money from tarot cards. So we will be using our discards. So here let's go purple, purple, the steel ones I don't need. The lucky one I can replace with a gold seal one. That's also lucky. Let's try that. All right, card sharp can give me something else. Joker, world I don't need. Discard the steel ones. Judgment if I want it. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to this fool. Maybe I can do something better with it. Maybe I can get either a hermit or a temperance or death. Or, you know, we have a couple different options there. Uh, here we will get rid of the steel ones. And, okay. We get extra money at the end from Dusk. So maybe that's something that I want to try to do. Versus if I win now I get extra money from saving my hands I think we get more money from the dusk so let's do that 
Uh, here's another purple seal card. That's my last purple seal card, so I can go ahead and do this. Strength I don't need. All right, looking for one more gold seal possibly. Or if we don't get it, that's okay. We can play all these, or we can go polychrome if we want. Six billion points. I think, you know, with this combination here, if we play our cards right, I think we can get to a trillion points. Let's see. Um, standard packs. Close. Polychrome Jack. Maybe I should just be saving my money. Oh well. And we'll go next. This round is going to be just like the last one. We'll discard our steel cards, looking for these gold seal cards and these purple seal cards. So there's a purple one. Cherry, if I want to make a steel card, so for example, we could make these red steel cards. I said could be useful, you know, re-triggering the steel effect. Uh, I don't need it right now, but you know, that's something that we could want in the future to help us score points. Uh, there's a purple seal card. There's one more purple seal in the deck. So before I discard, let's play out a few cards just to get rid of them. There we go, the purple seal cards. Uh, I'm holding on to this fool so that, you know, let's go ahead and make another red steel card. We'll do the discard. Uh, here's another steel card. And we'll end with the gold seals. So here's those gold seals. Here's another one. And might as well throw in this one. Or maybe we could do Let's see, between these, four of a kind or flush five. If I do it this way, this is times two compared to, you know, however much this is. Uh, though one benefit of playing the extra king is we get the idol on this extra fifth king. And then with the red seal, it's re-triggered. So this is definitely worth more points if we do it this way. Not that we need the more points, but, you know, if we wanted to optimize here. Alright, $260, all, you know, well on our way to 400 Go Arcana Pack. Uh, nothing here that we need, so we'll just skip and go to the next round. All right, so the plan was beat the boss in one hand. We already did that. There is an unlock for beating the boss with a high card. If I play a high card, uh, can I get a million points with a high card? I think not in this run, but in a future run, that's something that we're going to be thinking about trying to do. So let's go ahead and discard for more tarot cards. Hermit for the money, hangman we don't need. Discarding, wait, that one has a seal on it. Let's play these two. You know, maybe we get some money from the lucky cards. We can 
No repeat hand type. Okay. Whew. For a second there, I thought I thought I messed up. I thought you know the, the one boss where you uh, what is it? You can only play one hand type. So if you play a pair to get rid of it, then now you're stuck on playing pairs. Uh, I get tripped up by that one. It does give you like four or five different warnings when you do it, but uh, you know I'm so used to ignoring the warnings uh, that I get messed up by that one a lot. Alright, let's go ahead and this will not score. I don't need it to score. I just need to get it out of my hand. Alright. Do another two. Uh, I have just the one more purple seal, so maybe I'll do this. Alright, the steel one I don't need. Purple give me an emperor fool on the emperor i'm going to hold on to the fool because you know we could get some tarot cards in the next shop let's play the gold seal cards uh something i will point out about the raised fist so this is different from most you know plus mult jokers this happens at the same time that your steel cards happen. So this, what it does is your card that you're holding in your hand gives you the molt before the rest of these joker effects happen. Um, not the idle, but you know, other kinds of joker effects. So that's something to keep in mind uh, with the raised fist is this molt is added before other jokers. All right, here's another uh, here filling the shop with more tarot cards we don't really need more tarot cards what we're mainly looking for are more jokers for the unlocks um, but i am going to take this voucher because that's also an unlock celestial pack uh, we don't get the one that i want uh, i'm gonna skip here so that i can use the fool to make an emperor emperor that's basically another arcana pack oh we get the death if that's something that we want to do here we've got the marble joker as another unlock so let's do that let's go instead of the raised fist we'll do the marble joker this gives you a stone card when the blind is selected um, I don't want to add stone cards to my deck so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it now and actually I'm gonna pick up this uh, hallucination. It cost me three dollars. It sells for one dollar. If I get you know two tarot cards worth of value out of this in just one or two rounds, it'll pay for itself. And so you know if I wanted to, I could sell this higher fence and I can open this uh, booster pack here. There is a rare chance of getting that polychrome and red seal card. But otherwise, let's see here. Seven million? Oh, we already hit a billion points. So that's not going to be a big deal. Uh, all spade cards debuff, that's not going to be a big deal either. Okay, we're fine. Uh, let's go in here. Let's make more of these purple seal cards. And so how about the gold ones? How about this regular... Uh, let's make that into a purple seal gold card instead of a lucky card all right and then we'll do our discarding strength I don't need temperance for 16 bucks so we got rid of I forgot what it was we got rid of something vagabond vagabond had that you know nine dollars sell value so this is not giving us as much as it was before. Uh, also noting here, if you get the voucher, the clearance sale reducing the cost of things when you buy them, it also reduces the sell cost. It also reduces the power of your temperances. And so if you're generating a lot of tarot cards, sometimes, you know, reducing the cost of stuff is balanced against, you know, how much money you're getting, extra money you're getting from temperance. Um, it might be worth it to not take the clearance sale voucher in some situations. 
All right, but for us here, we will keep digging for our purple seal cards. So here's purple seal. Uh, the steel cards I don't need. Uh, chariot, if I want to make more steel cards. So for example, here's another steel card. We don't need the scoring now, but we could, you know, if we want to live for longer, we could take that for later. These are not the relevant planets that I was looking for. We've got two more purple seals left in the, the deck, so I'm going to go ahead and start playing cards instead of discarding cards. Alright, this is our last hand. If I was playing this a little bit more carefully, what I should have done was I should have played three cards on that hand. And then that way I would have guaranteed that I draw all of my cards. I would have guaranteed that I draw my purple seal card. Uh, but it's not going to matter super much. So let's go ahead and discard this and also I'll discard my lucky card. All right, on the final hand here, we've got the gold seals. Okay. Uh, here we go. This is going to reduce our... Oh, sorry, here's another unlock. 300 chips is huge if you're playing things like two pair or pair or high card. These things, uh, you know, the high card plan only gives you plus 10 chips every time, so it grows very slowly. And so if you have something like Stuntman giving you plus 300 chips, what this allows you to do is you can play any hand. You don't have to play the big hands. You could play high card and get 300 chips for high card, even though it's just one card. Uh, the drawback, of course, the minus hand size, then it makes it hard to play the higher hands anyway. Um, I think the stuntman is a great choice, but uh, you know, for us here, it's not what we want to be doing. And also, uh, like I said, we already have 700 on the flush five. So this is less than a 50% increase. There's really not that many different things that could benefit us. So most jokers were just picking them up for the unlocks. And the booster packs, I'm opening them for the hallucination value. Judgment. All right, uh, we did get our $400 and I think there was an unlock associated with that. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, which means if I wanted to, I could start spending my money on rerolls and then trying to leverage that into potentially trying to live for longer, longer than just anti-12. Maybe let's try to do that. Maybe let's see how far we can take this. So if I want to try to live even longer, what I want to be doing or what I want to be thinking about is not using all of my rerolls in one shop because that's going to increase the reroll shop or reroll price. I want to sort of spread out my rerolls. Uh, here I can take this zany joker and then replace it with hack. Hack gives you re-triggers on your twos, threes, fours, and fives. And so knowing that this exists, you know, even though there's, there's 150 jokers, knowing that this is one of them, this could be an incentive for even from the very beginning. If I know that hack is out there somewhere in the wild, maybe what I want to do is I want to go for twos, threes, and twos, threes, fours, and fives in my deck by default. And then in the rare situation where I do eventually find a hack, I will be rewarded for having already done that work in the first place. Um, there's also uh, a different version of this instead of two, three, fours, and fives. Sock and Buskin gives you re-triggers on all of your face cards. And then so maybe I want to force face cards every time. Except I got to think about the bosses that debuff and mess with my face cards. Uh, so some things to think about. Uh, but for here, it's just not going to fit in with what we're already doing. 
uh, what we can do, we can take this Wheel of Fortune. Before I take the Wheel of Fortune, I am going to get rid of the hack so that I don't, you know, accidentally put this uh, addition onto the hack. Another $20 temperance here. All right, uh, that was, you know, maybe $50 worth of rerolls, $60 worth of rerolls. I wasn't necessarily paying attention. And so we'll do that over the next six to eight rounds. We'll spread out, you know, maybe $50 in each shop. Um, and then that way, you know, I'm not spending $10 for one reroll. I can spend three, four and $5 for three rerolls. All right, uh, Arcana pack or, you know, we'll just play the round for value. I don't need these. Another magician. We don't need any more of those. Death card. Okay. So question, do we want more purple seal cards or do we want more red seal cards? I think for the short term, short term, I want a few more purple seal cards. And then later with the purple seal cards giving me more tarot cards, I can always do the red seal cards later. I can always do the polychrome cards later. So for now, we'll go another of these purple seal cards. And then we'll go ahead and discard. Hangman I don't need. Sun I don't need. Here's a gold seal that I want to play. Uh, I have five cards left. Yep. All right, now let's use all our hands for Dusk. Mm. Ah, only two billion standard packs. Uh, for the hallucination value Nice we got a king of diamonds and it's a steel king of diamonds um, I think I don't need that. I think I got plenty of other better kings, so that's okay What's this Emperor have Priestess Okay Standard pack here, we do get another polychrome card, but we already have polychrome kings. Let's do our re-rolling. Here's a new one. So let's, uh, we don't even need to sell anything. So the satellite gives us $1 for each planet card used in a run. And so here, if we've used one of each of these planet cards, that's gonna give us $10 for the satellite. So this is an, another one of those where if I know that satellite exists in the Joker pool, I'm not going to get it all the time, but if I know that it exists, then something to try to do, if it doesn't cost you too much money, if it's not too inconvenient to do it, um, if I have a celestial pack and I have three options and I don't care about any of those three options, pick one that you just haven't already done. Um, you can do that with the select. So you can level up your satellite. This is retroactive. It counts planet cards that you've already used. All right, still looking for more unlocks here. You know, maybe the priestess will give us another heiress card or not, that's okay. And so 
you know, we ended the previous shop, we ended at $500. Here we've rolled down to $450. So, you know, on average, let's go down $50 each shop. That'll allow us to survive for, you know, two-ish or maybe slightly more antis. Or three antis or however that works. I don't know. All right, here's two purple cards and the steel ones we don't need. We can make more steel cards for later. And now that we've made a steel card, we'll just throw it away immediately. Here's another steel card. Uh, are these the ones that I want to turn into steel? Yeah, maybe this one with the gold seal. Here's my polychrome cards. I'm going to keep the gold seal ones. And then let's run them out. Here's one, two, discard. All right, what are we looking at here? One, two, three, four, five gold seals. Ship it. And we, the voucher unlock condition is you need to reach anti-12. You only need to beat anti-11. So, you know, 14 million, that's all you got to do. And there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. It doesn't have to be just this idle with the reach triggers. Uh, here's another voucher that increases the interest that we earn. So basically what this is doing is we get $5 per round. Now we get another $5 per round. Doesn't matter super much because we have all the tarot cards giving us money. Uh, let's go standard packs. Nope. That's okay. Golden Joker is definitely worse than this satellite maybe since we already have enough uh tarot cards from our purple seal cards i don't need this hallucination as much as i love looking at the guy i love as much as i love having him hang out uh we'll replace him with the golden joker for the unlock let's go looking for more unlocks mime copying all of our held in hand abilities copying all of our steel effects uh let's think about it if we've got eight cards in hand and we've got you know potentially three steel cards if we play five we hold on to three of them steel cards uh then this is giving me times 3.7 right uh yeah times 3.7 compared to you know here i can take the steel joker giving me times uh 5.7 this would be stronger in this position. If we have more hand size, then of course the mine would be stronger. If we had more held in hand effects to copy, could be stronger. But for now, mime is not the thing that we want. All right, here's one. We've got the flash card, gives you molt every time you reroll. So this is one of those where it's hard to level it up early in a run because rerolls are kind of expensive but then later on in a run once you you know we've sort of demonstrated the ability to generate a lot of money in the late game then you can start leveling up this very fast except in the late game if you have access to a lot of money and you have access to a lot of shop rerolls and you have access to you know let's say x molt jokers in the shop and let's say you have access to a high level base hand from all the planet cards that you have then our leveled up flash card you know maybe we get up to plus 100 after doing 50 rerolls is not going to contribute 
that much necessarily. So that's something to be somewhat weary of. Um, it's not good early because you know you can't afford rerolls, and it may not even be good late, even after you can afford rerolls, because the rerolls will roll you into things that are better than just plus molt. Something to keep in mind with the flash card. Though we certainly don't need the square joker. All right, 300 million, no problem. Uh, the mark is going to make all of our face cards face down. That's perfectly fine. We don't care super much which kings that we're playing. We've just been playing the gold seal ones to try to get the most money. But if they're face down, who cares? We'll definitely survive. We don't have to worry about survival. Temperance for the money. All right, some more tarot cards that we don't need. Throw away the steel ones. Throw away the purple ones. Uh, gold cards. Doesn't matter super much. I'll just take the dollar. All right, I've got two more purple seals left in the deck. So I will go ahead and play my other cards now. I feel like I say that a lot. I feel like I say, you know, at least every minute or so, it doesn't matter super much. Which is true. You know, there's one, once you reach certain levels of power in this game, there's a lot of stuff that stops mattering. You know, even here, once we have level 16 flush 5, the next flush five planet card plus three molt on top of 60 is not that big a difference plus 40 chips on top of 760 not that big a difference we've got the two purple seals so we can go ahead and discard uh we can make more steel cards investing in our high scoring future potentially And then ending with the gold seals. All right, maybe quick calculation here. Uh, so the idol is giving us times. 32 and then the dusk is giving us you know another times 32 on top of that and then this blueprint either we copy the idol and then now this is 1000 doubled or 1000 times 1000 with the dusk or we do you know this is 32 times 32 times 32 so we actually score more if we do this. We score more if we copy the idol. The reason why we're copying the dusk instead of copying the idol uh, is because the dusk is giving us the extra money from our gold seal cards. So if you want to see a trillion points and not just a billion points, that's what we would be doing. Um, in general, the way that you optimize this, if you have like three or four re-trigger jokers, if you have like three or four uh, you know, idol or the legendary tree belay or, you know, those sorts of things. Um, the way that you kind of balance it is you want kind of an even split an even split between here are the triggers, here are the re triggers. So each re trigger is worth more instead of just having more re triggers. Buffoon pack, show me an unlock. Uh, nope, that's okay. We will pick up the flower pot just to sell it. Uh, standard pack. Yeah, we'll keep going. All right, show me more unlocks. Uh, we could use this judgment. 
So judgment here costs two bucks for a random joker where reroll costs five bucks for maybe two jokers. So, you know, this is kind of like a discounted reroll. We've got the cola, this is new. We didn't already have this. When we sell it, we get a double tag. And so now this kind of changes the calculus when it comes to whether we take a skip tag. Now the skip tag that we pick will be worth twice as much. And so if it's worth twice as much, it may be worth taking now. One of them, eventually, maybe, we'll see. Uh, we could get another chariot for another steel card or turn our gold cards into steel cards Sure, I don't think that's insane to do that We got the wheel plus 50 chips, you know another drop in the bucket uh, DNA to add more cards to our deck, but I think we're good with our deck construction uh, We've got it mostly the way that we want it we use the hermit here. Uh, I am noticing that each round, instead of my money going down, my money's going up each round. And so maybe I can probably afford to reroll more than I have been doing. And so we will do that. We'll reroll a few extras. Another wheel of fortune. All right, now that's it, that's it for sure. Now that's all the re-rolling that we're gonna do, uh, at least for this shop. So here now, if I want a buffoon pack, I've got two, it's a mega buffoon pack. So I look at four jokers and I can potentially pick two and then I can get another one with the double tag. Um, that is not gonna be worth, you know, as much as, you know, whatever I get from the shop, just re-rolling normally for jokers. You know, buffoon pack is kind of weird. Uh, you know, it gives you options at jokers, but also re-rolls give you options at jokers. So, you know, sometimes instead of taking a buffoon pack, you might as well just re-roll in the shop. Though it does come with the benefit of whatever is in the buffoon pack, you just get it. You don't have to pay extra for it. All right, let's, we've got some more gold cards to turn into steel. And then we can discard holding on to the gold seals. Uh, okay. Strength, I don't need. Uh, I could get another Emperor. I could try to save the Fool for something more. I'm going to try to save the Fool since we've got a sh another shop opportunity coming up. Uh, let's go ahead and run out our Kings. All right, so I said before, you know, between copying the Dusk or copying the Idol, that copying the Dusk gives us more of these gold seal triggers for the extra money. Uh, and copying the Idol instead is going to give us more scoring after all. Let's put that to the test. Let's see if this actually gives us more score if we copy the Idol instead. There we go. Uh, this is not yet a trillion. This is uh, 250, wait, yeah, 250 billion. Uh, so that is, you know, however many times more, definitely more than the billions that we were getting before. Um, so the way to think of this is here, this idol gives me one set of triggers. Here's another, here's another. So that's three triggers of this times two. If I do it this way, this is two triggers doubled becomes four triggers is how this works out. All right, Hermit, we are rewarded for holding on to the fool. I mean, it's only 20 bucks. 
but you know, still rewarded. Buffoon pack. No new unlocks. Uh, I'll take the holographic just so that I can sell it. Chariot again. Maybe I've got a few more gold cards that I might want to turn into steel cards. Uh, Burnt Joker. This is new, so let's take a look at that. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna use the Emperor. Uh, between these, the holographic is gonna be worth more. All right. So the Burnt Joker. First hand you discard each round gets upgraded. So for example, if I have all kings and if i discard five kings then it levels up my flush five every round and if i do the blueprint it's compatible i can do that every round get two upgrades wouldn't that be spicy all right we've got the temperance here all right this even steven Rewarding you for playing even cards. This is a new unlock for us. So uh, Burn Joker This is one of those that came up in like I said I went to anti 25 and it came up too late to be useful to me So I ended up not doing it. You know, I advertised. Oh, here's like a spicy thing that we can do with the flush five If we got all Kings, but we didn't we weren't able to do it So I do want to keep this just so that we can play around with that. I'll get rid of the satellite It's only ten bucks after all 10 bucks every round that is uh, Here we've got the this is another of those scaling X mult jokers The constellation this was in the uh, Earlier demo version of the game last year September the thing I think people do incorrectly with this is you know it scales on every planet card that you play every planet card that you use and so people will buy every planet card that they see in the shop I see a planet card I'll buy it. I see another planet card I'll buy it and this has sort of the same thing as you know just planet cards in general with this sort of diminishing returns you know once I get this up to like x4 or something like that then another 0.1 on top of that is less than a quarter of a percent increase or less than 1% increase or something like that. Um, is that true? 2%, 2.5% if I go 0.1 out of uh, times 4. Whatever, something like that. Uh, the increase is very, very small. And so you have to ask this question, you know, is it worth all of this money that I'm dumping into it? Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's better to hold your money for interest, hold your money for, you know, other kind of value generating jokers, uh, you know, potentially no matter how high that I can scale this up, there could be some other X mult joker that's going to be better. So, you know, be cautious about this. Don't dump all your money into it for the sake, just for the sake of leveling it up. But here we've got the discounted planet cards. Since I'm going for unlocks and I do plan on uh, replacing this, uh, I'm not going to try to level it up. I'll say that. Let's go. There, we're down to 15 reroll costs. We still have more money than we had last time. So we can probably afford some extra rerolls. Maybe here's another hermit. Another reroll. Uh, $17, I'm gonna stop there. All right, everything face down. Let's copy the Burnt Joker. If I throw away, here's one, two, three, four, five cards. I wonder what this is gonna be. Oh, it's a flush five. Nice. All right, if I play this card. Uh, I don't necessarily need the Dusk value, right? Like if I just play five cards here and copy the idol. 
I can save my hands. I could do blind discards for the purple seals, um, but I'm holding on to this chariot, so you know maybe I don't want to do the purple seals. All right, uh, plus one consumable slot. Where was this the whole time? Uh, plus one consumable slot. Now we can hold on to more tarot cards. Now with our purple seals, I can discard three at a time. Uh, Arcana pack here. Let's, these are mostly steel already, except for this one is a lucky card. Let's go ahead and make it steel for later. Priestess, Eris. All right, so, you know, with this constellation, there are planet cards that you will normally pick up for your run. And so it will level itself up even without you going out of your way to level it up. Uh, here we've got four planet cards. Show me something different. Like this Eris card. Perfect. E Alright. Constellation gone. Clown, free reroll, six bucks, let's go. All right, get out of here. All right, let's see here, we've got those I've seen before. Those I've seen before. Man, all of these I've seen before. Temperance. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Reroll some more. Here's a new one, the trading card. So the Burnt Joker does a thing on the first hand that we discard. The Trading Card does a thing on the first thing that we discard. Instead of discarding a hand, you discard one card and it destroys it. Great Joker. This is another one of those, you know, kind of like Immolate. This is actually two different benefits. Removing a card is a benefit. Uh, earning money is a second benefit. The cost is you use up one of your discards. You know, maybe you need your discards to help sculpt your hands and get the better hands. But uh, the benefits that you get are huge. You know, after removing some cards from your deck, then your deck is more consistent. You don't need to use your discards anyway. Um, but, you know, incompatible, I can't do two of these at the same time. Uh, and then also here with the blueprint, incompatible with the trading card. If you discard one card, you will only get $3 for it. You can't get $6 for it. Uh, another you know, quick tip here with the Burnt Joker and the trading card, you don't have to discard the first hand that you've been dealt. What you can do is you can, with the blue deck, if I have extra hands, I can just play hands and then use that to sculpt. And after playing hands, when I get the appropriate thing that I want to discard, I can discard after having played my hands. Uh, another benefit of using the blue deck. Uh, here we've got another unlock. We could do judgment. Red card we've seen before. Wheel maybe? Okay. Uh, here's another new one. Uh, we saw this before, the Ramen Joker. We said, you know, we're using our discards and so this is gonna shrink. But if I'm just going for unlocks, I don't really care. I'm just gonna sell it anyway. And there we're done re-rolling, saving our money to re-roll more in the future. All right, now I need 47 billion. We demonstrated we can get 250 billion if I copy the idol instead of copying the dusk. So now we're getting into, you know, these are actually very serious anti scores now. Uh, so we're getting into very serious scoring now. Maybe we can't get as much money as we were doing before. Can't be as greedy as we were doing before. Serpent boss, no problem there. Clear out some space here. Um, let's not make a gold card. Let's try to transition everything into steel cards now. Uh, for the first hand discarded, let's go one, two, three, four, five. Upgrade our flush five. 
Yeah, excellent. Now we're cooking. Alright. Uh, here's another purple card. Get rid of all the steel ones. I guess I could keep the polychrome ones. That's another way for me to score. But for right now, I don't think we need that. I don't think we need it. Next ante, you know, three rounds from now, maybe we do need it. But right now we don't. Allegedly. All right, let's go ahead and use our hands. So let's... Here. Money. Steel. Mm, here's that purple one. There's another purple one. Let's play here. Steel. There, purple, discarding. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, or I can make another steel card. Let's go steel card, and then another steel card for later. Let's play this steel card to get out of our hand. All right, uh, these gold ones I definitely want to play. And then now the question is, uh, you know, with this red seal card, you know, what's the difference between if I play the red seals versus if I hold the red seals? If I hold the red seals, the only benefit over a normal steel card is an extra 1.5 times, whereas here the re-trigger is going to re-trigger uh, both of these idle effects here. And so, you know, if I were to do something like this with these extra red seal cards, now we would for sure we would get the trillion points. But I don't need that. I'm going to go for the money instead. Oh, look at that. We got the 4 trillion points anyway. No problem. Hey, we got the nanner. Get in here. Why not? Uh, maybe Spectral Pack could be something interesting. Ooh. This is it. This is the combo. Uh, not only this is new, this is not discovered. But here, Red Seal. Okay, we already know Red Seal with the retrigger on the idle effects here. We can also retrigger the Polychrome cards. And so now, that Polychrome card, if I play it, I get the retrigger. If I don't play it, I get the Steel retrigger. I want to make my entire deck, well, not my entire deck. I want to make most of my deck into these uh, Polychrome Red Steel cards. I want to do a mix. I want to do half uh, the red seals, half purple seals. That way I can still get more tarot cards if I want more tarot cards. Now I no longer need standard packs because the only thing that I would possibly want is this and I already have it. So now I don't need the hangman. I've already demonstrated I'm able to play. I'm able to see 100% of my deck every time. Really, now I just want death. Uh, here's a new unlock for us. Madness Joker. When the blind is selected, it gets bigger. Destroys a random Joker. Uh, I will say this always gets bigger, whether or not you have a Joker to destroy. It just always gets bigger. And so, you know, a viable strategy is I just play only one Joker. I just play only Madness. And then, you know, maybe I level it up. If I get it early enough, I can level it up to, you know, times six or times eight or something like that. Uh, with, you know, kind of a high enough level planets, you know, high enough poker hand. You know, this already 1,000 times 80 is 80,000. Um, or even, you know, not even this high, you could get, uh, you know, let's say 20,000. 
base score from not just a flush five but maybe a regular five of a kind and maybe a, a flush house or maybe a, a straight flush you can get up to 20,000 base so with that you know to beat the 100,000 point final boss I only need times five um, it is possible to win without any jokers at all completely jokerless win uh, it's perfectly sorry about that it was it's perfectly reasonable to win with you know just the madness though it's not necessarily going to be super easy you know if i have two times threes that's two that's times nine that's bigger than i'm going to be able to grow the madness anyway so maybe don't go all in Uh, I should also say, uh, on the higher stake difficulty, there's this thing called uh, Eternal Jokers that cannot be destroyed. And so you can use the Madness with Eternal Jokers uh, with no problem, no chance of them being destroyed on the higher stake difficulty settings. Uh, we do have another unlock here with the Dagger. Dagger, every round it gets more Molt. Uh, it sacrifices a card so whatever card to the right is going to get sacrificed and so here if this has a cell value of two uh this is going to gain molt uh plus four molt from the cell value of two uh this has a combo with the egg has a combo with the gift card where you know if the cell value is increased now it gets more molt than it would be otherwise uh this is one of those where it can get big if you feed it, if you invest money into it, but maybe don't invest too much money into it. Maybe don't go crazy because you can use your money for other stuff. But it is one of those jokers that can kind of carry a run on its own. We got the banana again. Yeah, give me the banana. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna re-roll, I'm gonna get an unlock and I'm gonna sell it again. But you know, I like, ha I just like looking at it. So let's keep the banana. Ah, here we go, we got the pants. Pants uh, rewarding you if you play hands that contain two pairs. So this could be two pair or full house or flush house, for example. And this bonus is permanent. So you play a couple two pairs to level it up. And then if you play a straight, that doesn't have two pair you still get the plus two molt so if you compare this to the dagger i can level this up one i can level it up faster two i can level it up cheaper i can do it less expensively compared to the dagger let's pick up the emperor i'm looking for death uh, maybe I'll get a Joker unlock here. Vagabond, we already got to experience all of the Vagabond stuff earlier. Castle, we unlocked. We didn't really use it, but we unlocked it. Let's see here. Wheel. Mm, sell the Vagabond first, then wheel. A it's the Nanner. Uh, it is a common joker and so it other just like other commons it shows up Commonly we've demonstrated that we can get the Cavendish very easily uh, the only sort of mm, Hang up I guess is you need to get the original banana first the Gros Michel uh, And then you need it to die and then after it dies then you unlock the ability to find the Cavendish and so, you know, this is maybe not technically that common because you got to get the other banana first. But because it is so common and because it does show up so regularly, when you do get the banana, the original banana, uh, the Gros Michel, you should do it. You should do it because when it dies, this will show up. You don't have to worry about it showing up. It's common. It will show up. And so it's 100% worth it to get the banana just to destroy it. 
get that, you know, even if it's a holographic banana, even if it's a polychrome banana, even if it costs you extra money for the addition and you know it's gonna die, it's worth it for this. You know, even if I have to spend $20 to buy this for the X3 mold, it's worth it. In most runs now, you know, we got the idol giving us times 32 and we got all the extra re-triggers. So now it's not worth it anymore. But, you know, in a normal run, if you just want to win and survive and stuff like that, uh, definitely worth it for the banana. Uh, let's, after, you know, going through that whole rant about how worth it is for the banana, I'm going to take the Chaos the Clown for the $15 free reroll here. And... If I swap it for this golden joker, it costs $4, gives me $4, sells for $2, perfect. D6 tag, rerolls start at $0 in the next shop. That might actually be worth a decent amount of money. We do lose the ability to, you know, do the burnt joker. But we already have level 24, so you know another plus two on top of that is not a super big deal. We lose the whatever uh, booster packs would be in this shop. We're gonna skip the shop, we're gonna skip those booster packs. I think it's close, it's marginal. Uh, so I'm just going to play it out instead of skipping. So it is close. And if I do this with the double tag, this will apply to the next two shops. I think I wanna save the double tag for something potentially stronger. So the only reason I'm not skipping here is because I'm saving the double tag. Otherwise, I think at this stage of the game, when we do wanna do the rerolls, uh, this would be worth it. Whereas most of the time it's not. All right, let's go ahead and I'm looking to make one more or, you know, a couple more steel cards if I can. So let's go discarding like this. Here's lucky card, now a steel card. Uh, I'm going to play one, two, maybe I'll do this just to be safe. Uh, I'm gonna play my kings so that I can draw my purple seals. Okay. All right, let's do this. All right, uh, two purple seals. I've got three discards left, so maybe we'll discard an extra card here. Uh, I could get a chariot for another steel card. Sure. Uh, hangman, I don't need... Let's see, I've got five cards left, so maybe I will discard this one. Maybe I don't want to discard this one. Maybe I'll do something like this. I want to hold on to this in case I get a death card, which I didn't, but, you know, it was technically possible. Here, one more discard. I've got two cards left in the deck, so we'll discard two. All right, still looking for that death card. Let's go one, two, three, four. And then now demonstrating the polychrome card. Hey, that's 10 trillion. Just a skosh over. All right, re-roll. Looking for, let's go ahead and open the Arcana pack. Can I get death? Uh, temperance is worth 20 bucks, might as well.
All right, here's a new unlock for us. We get the vampire. So very similar, very similar to the constellation. Constellation levels up when you use planet cards. The way vampire works is you use tarot cards to get enhancements. Vampire removes the enhancements, turns it into this permanent scaling molt bonus. So those are kind of comparable. You know, one, you're using tarot cards uh, to level up your vampire. Uh, the other one, you're using planet cards to level up your constellation. I think on average, the vampire is gonna grow a little bit faster, right? So the constellation is uh, 0.1 for each planet. The vampire, you know, if you get temp or if you get a uh, chariot, sorry, uh, if you get empress or hierophant, that's the bonus cards for the plus chips or the uh, molt cards for the plus molt. Each of those is two cards. Vampire gives you 0.2 for each of those. And so vampire has the potential to grow bigger, faster. So this is huge. Uh, this is a, a great pickup. We don't necessarily need it in this run, and I do want to keep all of the steel cards, but uh, in your runs, definitely you want to be looking for the vampire, and it's uncommon, so it's easy to find. All right, here, I don't need any of these planets. I'm looking for Eris. Uh, temperance. I think I maybe have all of the commons unlocked now. I will take the clown, cost $4, but gives me a $11 reroll, sell it for $2. Uh, I could pick up a chariot here. Trio I already have. Okay, we're down to just $300 now, so I'm gonna save my money. Um, and then, you know, when I go into the next shop, the clown will give me a free reroll in the next one. All right. So, this boss is kind of weird, where, you know, you play or discard. It doesn't matter how many cards you play or discard, you always draw three. If you play five, you draw three. If you play one, you draw three. And so here, if I go one, two, three, four, five, and if I discard these by first, let's go gold card. One, two, three, four, five. So that I can get my burnt joker value. Uh, sad, I only drew three cards. But I can also do this. Let's go play one steel card. Is that what I want to do? Or play one gold card? Let's play one gold card. Okay, and let's play, or let's discard this one purple card. And this one purple card. Or maybe let's play one gold card. I'm gonna to try to draw all of my cards. So here's one gold card or gold seal card. One more. And then now discarding. I just have two cards left in the deck. Let's discard this one. Yeah. All right. Uh, I have all of my cards. I have not my whole deck, uh, but I have most of my deck in my hand. Let's go for the big score. So how can we do this? We could do, okay, polychrome with the red seal. Uh, here's another polychrome. Here's another polychrome. Here's another polychrome. Those are all my polychrome cards. However, 
the red seal, the re-trigger, will be copying these idle effects. So maybe it's better to do this. Play as many red seal cards as I can. I think that's going to do it. If I wanted to, glass for even more points. But, you know, let's just see what we could do here. All right, so if there's a if the thing that you're interested in doing is potentially going for, you know, what is the po biggest possible score that you can get, uh, a way that may help, may work, is to, you know, get lucky. And if you land on the serpent boss with the extra weirdness of being able to draw extra cards, getting the larger and larger hand size, more and more steel cards, you could potentially use that to get much higher scores potentially all right uh some more unlocks here we've got plus one hand size is always great love to see that uh unfortunately instead of doing this re-roll value with the clown we're going to pick up the rocket that's a new one starts at one dollar gives you one dollar every round and so uh you know it takes a few rounds for it to pay for itself but then every boss that you beat, it goes up. So this is one of those where even if you don't get it early, even if you get it like kind of partway through your run, it can still grow pretty big, pretty fast. Um, you know, taking over uh, after two bosses already more money than you're getting from just interest. All right, looking for death card looking for more unlocks here fool for more temperance no problem uh did we get the walkie-talkie already we didn't get the walkie-talkie so we can go rocket for walkie-talkie vampire coming back around all right here we got one two three planet cards four planet cards now let's open the celestial pack Perfect. All right, so the Celestial Pack Jumbo has five. Here's four. That's nine total planet cards. We only have ten different plant or ten different hands here. So out of nine, nine out of ten, you're almost guaranteed to get the one that you want by blocking the duplication. Uh, here we got a negative joker. Uh, it is free. Well, I mean, it's seven bucks, but, you know, there we go. Plus 100 chips, sure, why not? A fool for another Eris card. We, you know, already have level 29. We already have the Burnt Joker, so that's not optimally what I want to be doing with my fool. Maybe I'll hold on to the fool a little bit longer and see if I can get uh, that death card still. Uh, here's a new unlock for us. Oops, all sixes doubles probabilities. So if you have something that's like a lucky card, you know, if we go to the lucky cards here, instead of one in five chance, it's two in five chance to get plus 20, two in five chance to get uh, two in 15 to get the plus $20. Uh, however, it's worth noting this doubles, uh, you know, the detrimental probabilities as well. So if you've got like glass cards has a chance of breaking one in four, doubles it to two in four, 50% chance you're going to break your glass card. Uh, this also, there's a boss that has the one in seven chance of your cards being face down when you draw them. This doubles it to two in seven. You get more face down cards against that one boss. Um... There, you know, in the old, old, original summer playtest version of the game last year, there were more of these kinds of effects that were, you know, chance-based. And so this Oops All Sixes was kind of more exciting, more of these chance-based effects. Uh, a lot of those have been removed from the game by now. We have less of those. And so maybe this is not as powerful or is not as interesting as it used to be but it does still have some utility. 
Um, for example, if you want to make all these lucky cards and go for the lucky cat, then the oops all sixes uh, to build that up, uh, perhaps. Uh, this does, by the way, only affect the listed probabilities. You know, for example, if I open a standard pack, there's a probability that you get a seal. There's a probability that you get a polychrome card. Those probabilities are not at all affected. It's only the listed advertised probabilities. All right, uh, I didn't get the heiress card, or I saw I didn't get the death card, but I'm gonna keep holding on to this fool. Uh, this is 10 to the 13th. Let's go ahead and check our stats here. We could do 10 to the 16th. So, well, that was with all of the extra steel cards in our hand on the last boss there. So we should be a little bit weary about this. I don't know if we could do it, team. I don't know, but I'm going to try for you, for you, I'll try. Let's see here. Uh, I want to make some room. So here, let's not be greedy. Let's throw away the gold seal and let's hold on to these red seals. Okay. Hierophant we don't need. Two more discards. We've got the polychrome cards that we want to hold on to. The gold ones we don't need. Okay. Two more purple seals we can get rid of. Okay. Uh, I could get Eris or I can get 20 bucks. Uh, I'd rather have the 20 bucks. I'd still rather have a death card if I can. So maybe something like this, discarding. All right, we didn't get the thing that we wanted. Uh, I will keep saving this fool because I can go into the shop. All right, uh, what do we want to do here? I want to save my red seals for scoring. Uh, these polychrome cards, what I really want is the... Didn't I have one of my red seals on a polychrome card? Where is that? This one? Is that this one? Yeah, okay. Uh, these other polychrome cards without the red seal, I can just play them. Uh, okay, purple, I don't need. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I play here as long as I have all of the steel ones. All right, now we've got, here are our red seals with an extra polychrome. Hey. We got the 10 to the 15th. Uh, I will say if we go into the blinds here, this round is uh, starting at 10 to the 13th. The next round, 10 to the 16th, that one we're not gonna make. Uh, if we get more of our red seal polychrome cards, we could make it, we could survive. Or if we get some other better different jokers, we could survive. But for now, it looks like that's gonna kill us. Uh, I'll take care of these exclamation points later uh, in the privacy of my own home. All right, the sixes will replace with an unlock here. Buffoon pack. Just looking for those last few unlocks. Showman here, there's some consideration for if I pick up the showman, that unlocks the possibility of getting duplicates. Uh, with blueprint being rare, I'm not really looking to see another blueprint, but with idle and dusk being uncommon, it's not insane to think that I might get those copies. So let's go ahead and take the showman. And then now, you know, all the work that we've been doing for the like, you know, holding on to planet cards that we don't get duplicates, now that doesn't matter with the showman. 
like here we got two Jupiter cards. I've seen before you, you can sometimes get three or four of the same planet card with the showman. It's kind of funny. Uh, fool for another Eris card if I want. Ah, I was supposed to make a hermit. Um, or I guess we'll keep holding on for a death card. Because of the showman, I'm able to get multiple fools. Yeah. All right, we got the death, we got the fool. That means we've got, you know, this, uh, it's in there somewhere. There's the red seal with the polychrome. This, this fancy, this handsome fellow here. Uh, we're going to make a few more of those, I think. All right, what kind of jokers can we get, though? Anything? Whoa, look at these handsome fellas, too. They look like they're having a good time. Uh, Constellation coming back around. You know, I said it wasn't going to happen, but that's okay. It's, I'll accept being wrong on that one. Now that we got the blu blueprint, uh, this, you know, 10 to the 20th, no problem. We're going the distance. We're going for speed. I'm going to take out this uh, burnt joker now. It's already done its work here. We already got up to level 33. Uh, we will keep going higher by just normally buying uh, the planet cards. There's... You know, I said diminishing returns on these. So it'll keep getting higher, but it's not going to get that much higher that quickly. I want to hold on to the showman for that possibility. You know, we saw a lot of the uncommons being repeated, constellation being repeated, uh, vampire being repeated. It's not insane to think that we might get another idol, which is really what I want. Now I do have to make the decision about, okay, how do I want to split this? Do I want to do three idols doubled to six because of the dusk and then with the red seals gives me another set of three idols so that's nine total or do i want to do two idols uh and then with two re-triggers okay so that's plus two plus two and then with the red seals another plus two that's a total of eight so it works out that be I said, you know, we want to have kind of an even split between uh, the triggers and the re-triggers. And so without this blueprint, it was optimal to copy the idol. And we've got the re-triggers from Dusk, re-trigger from the Red Seal. Now with the extra blueprint, it is better for us to copy the idol and do three triggers, one re-trigger here, one re-trigger with the Red Seal cards. And we're gonna save our money there. We're getting down uh, to $200 now. All right, we should have no problems scoring. So here we can go ahead and start turning. This becomes poly steel. And with the death card, another one. And with the death card, another one so maybe how about this steel we'll go poly steel all right uh we've got all those and the purple ones we can throw away the money making ones i'll save those to play it uh this red seal i don't need anymore because i've got these fancy ones cool temperance E one, two, three. Let's try playing three for the money. Oh, uh, 82 million points. Nice. All right, here's those. I can play them, just get rid of them. Right, with the purple seal here uh discarding 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 i'll hold on to one of these red seals 
All right, chariot, gold in, on the purple, discarding three. Let's play the money. And I can safely discard this. I don't need the extra steel card. All right, uh, gold card I don't need. Here are now poly steel cards and with these three idols re-trigger on this red seal. All right, look at that, now we're cooking. All right, 10 to the 21st, we know this is enough, we can pass the next ante. Eris card, sure. Celestial pack, another Eris card? No, but we got more Jupiter cards. We can skip. Hermit for the money. Let's try to find another Dusk or Idol or, you know, there's some other face cards we could get. Or uh, Sock and Buskin. I don't know if we have that one unlocked. Maybe. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe there's some Joker that I'm looking for that I haven't unlocked yet. Uh, do I want the bull for the unlock and lose my showman? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've already made it to uh, anti-25 before, so I don't, you know, need to go super high this time. Uh, I do want to chase those unlocks. So, you know, if you are interested in that, if you are interested in, in seeing higher and higher antis, I do have that recorded you know with the full commentary sort of explaining my thought process through the entire six hour run to get to uh anti 25. uh emperor nope judgment maybe to-do list what's it want straight flush mm, we don't have that technology anymore uh, but we do have, never going to pass up the banana. Uh, do I need the chariot? Uh, looks like I already got, okay, this is one more lucky card. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Manacle giving us minus one hand size is not going to be a big problem for us. Okay, what am I looking to do? Let's play, here's four of a kind gold cards. All right, this is not a trillion points. There's no way this is a trillion point. Okay, good. It's just three billion points, no problem. All right, discarding here, holding on to the red ones. Discarding, again, holding on to the red ones. Maybe I can afford to lose one and still have extras. One, two, three. Uh, I think I have one more red left in the deck, so I could do this. Where is that? Okay, it is in there. Okay. Um, get rid of these. Let's play one. Something that I should think about is uh, I don't want to discard too many cards because now, you know, I do need to play cards in order to activate the Dusk and I've run out of cards in my deck. Uh, let's play this one. If I was concerned about scoring, I would go ahead and fire these off. Uh, but since I know I'm fine on scoring, I can discard for the extra value. Uh, in the future, you know, if we're only able to get 10 to the 21st scoring, we could use a glass card to push it even further. 
Um, I don't necessarily need to do that now, but that's something that we can think about investing in the future. This is a new voucher, the telescope voucher. Um, whatever our most played hand is uh, happens to be high card. So now every celestial pack will have the high card guaranteed. So here's the high card, the Pluto slot. This does make it harder for us to find our Eris cards. But like I said, I'm going for unlocks. So I'm going to take the voucher. Also, uh, our flush five is already high enough. So I don't necessarily need a lot of planet cards more than I already have. So that's completely fine. Reroll looking for unlocks. All right, free reroll. Um, most of these I don't need to be reading them, but I'm mousing over them out of habit so that I remember to slow down and not accidentally skip something. Banana. You gotta take the banana every time. All right, we've got um, gift card for more sell value. You know, at the very least, what this is going to do is it makes these things worth more money uh, for my temperance. It also, you know, if I get some tarot cards, I can increase those, that value. So I'm going to stop there, you know, down to 150 bucks. What I want to think about is right now, I know I can pass 10 to the 16th. And then the next ante, I know I can pass 10 to the 20th. But I don't think, you know, the next one, 10 to the 25th in anti 17 doesn't show here, but 10 to the 25th, that one I don't think I can beat with the current level of technology, with the current Joker setup. And so I'm expecting to lose in six rounds. What I want to do is I'll, however much rerolling power divided evenly around six rounds. And then maybe I live. Uh, coupon tag, making stuff free. I have plenty of money. Um, what I want is access to more shop opportunities. All right, we got the death. So we can make this shiny card. How about this plain one is now shiny. Uh, the priestess, I'm not gonna use. There is a slim chance that I get a fool card and I wanna use the fool card to copy a death, perhaps. That could be something to think about. Uh, judgment also, maybe, you know, like I said, we've got uh, in the collection now, a hundred jokers unlocked already, all of the commons unlocked probably. I can't think of a common that I don't have unlocked. And so now I don't need to be going for those unlocks necessarily. Let's play the gold ones. Maybe I should move my blueprint so this, uh, you know, process is faster. All right, we got another purple seal. I'll go ahead and do it. Chariot, uh, I don't need any more. I've done all of my steel cards. Here's some more gold ones. All right, uh, discard a purple one, uh, unless there's another purple one. E I don't think so. Play another gold one. And again, I was saying the gift card is gonna turn all these $1 into $2. Uh, play another king. And now one, two, three, four, five, all of them polychrome with the red seal now. All 
you know, maybe uh, if we had 10 to the 21st before, maybe we're able to get 10 to the 22nd now. Yeah, look at that, 10 to the 22nd. Uh, the extra polychrome is uh, 1.5 times, and then the dusk retriggers it gives us another 1.5 times, so it's just double. Whatever we had before is just two times whatever we had before. Uh, you know, plus or minus however many steel cards you have in hand. That's kind of like a quick uh, mental math there. Arcana pack, hoping for there we've got the death. So we showed restraint. We didn't use the priestess card, and we're able to get the death. Uh, we could get $30 or, you know, what is all of this money for if not, you know, sculpting the perfect deck. We already have the five uh, polychrome red steel cards, so we don't necessarily need more. We already have five. So maybe what I want to do, or, you know, I could make more just for the fact of the, the red steel re-triggering from the hand if I'm holding on to them. So I think I'm gonna do that. We can't use it right now, but we can use it in the next round. And the showman is gone, which means I can resume uh, picking up holding planets. Uh, here's a new unlock for us. Cardomancer gives you a tarot card uh, every round when you select the blind. You can copy it with a blueprint. And then here, you know, I can get uh, a full set of tarot cards and then move it later. Mm, let's see here. Unlocks. And I'm going to stop there as we're, you know, not making as much money as we were before when we were playing the gold seal cards. So let's go next. Boss says play only one ty hand type. So this is the one where if you're paying attention, you're going to be fine. Uh, me, I'm, you know, rarely paying attention. You know, I'm just playing fast um, or I'm, you know, talking about something or going on a rant. And so, you know, I'll play... You know, we've been doing high card, just playing one card at a time. Uh, maybe that's not something that we're able to do. Um, actually, is this going to be a problem for us? I'm not able to get my Dusk, right? I can't do Dusk if I can't play my cards. So maybe we'll do a reroll. Start with zero discards. Zero discards I can do. Z the discards are just, you know, giving me those uh, purple seal cards. That's not going to be an issue. Uh, here, I already have... What I want are, you know, here's a steel card that doesn't have a red seal. Here's a steel card that doesn't have a red seal. Um, I'm going to hold on to this death card. And let's go one, two, three, four, like that. Maybe five, like that, since I'm going to make an extra one right away. All right, and then with this polychrome, let's put it on here, I guess. All right, discarding like this. Emperor for the temperance. Uh, there again, you know, maybe you don't want to use the emperor and then that gives you the opportunity to copy your death with a fool card. Since I already used the emperor, I'm going to go ahead and use the priestess. Here's, let's play the gold ones.
Maybe like that. All right, we've done this enough times by now, you kind of know how this goes. You know what we're trying to do here. So let's play the gold one. Ah, I forgot to use my Cardomancer. You know, I had all these planet cards. Those are my last two purple ones, I believe. Cool. And let's play this one to get rid of it. And then for the big score here. Spectral pack, maybe the thing that I'm most interested in is an ectoplasm making uh, one of these negative. Uh, we do have, let's see here, some undiscovered I'm not going to take, uh, you know, because I don't want to tank this run. Uh, but the red seal on a polychrome card, no problem. Standard pack, we don't need those anymore. Polychrome DNA, cool. Emperor, yeah, let's see what we get. Chariot Tower, I don't need those. Mime now, copying my steel cards. So now I have, with the vouchers, I have the extra hand size from the paintbrush. And so, you know, this will not just copy three steel cards, but this will copy four steel cards. So that's times five molt is pretty good. All right, $11 for the next reroll will go to the boss. All right, before I start the boss, let's do the thing. Cardomancer, three times. A, it's not death, but it's not bad either. Let's go wheel, hermit, temperance. Uh, I don't have discards, so... I guess we'll do this. That's my version of a discard. I don't think it's gonna be 10 to the 17th because we don't have the retrigger from dusk. Great. Uh, let's go. The main thing that I'm looking for is I'm looking for my gold cards just for the extra money. Because I already have these are my polychrome cards that are gonna score. And with just 10 cards left in the deck, I should be able to see most of them, not all of them. So there's that one. Maybe I'll, I'll do this. Uh, it's the last hand, so maybe I'll just do this. All right, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, Eris Planet card. All right, we get one less discard, but we get one more, or we get minus one ante, so that's gonna reduce the score from 
we said uh, you know 10 to the 20th we can barely do that with 10 to the 21st scoring but if we go back in time to 10 to the 16th then we have no problem so we'll do that uh, if you really wanted to play you know super optimally uh, wait until you do this blind and the big blind and after two rounds then pick it up so that you get the minus one discard two rounds from now instead of right now uh, but since it's only you know the one discard difference for the two rounds uh, it doesn't matter that much but if you really wanted to play optimally that would be the move All right, I'm looking for maybe some rare jokers. That would be cool. I don't even know if I have the rare jokers unlocked. Which would be kind of sad, doing all these rerolls and there's nothing that I can actually get. Um, more so than this Cardomancer, I'm kind of interested in this gift card, maybe. Or, you know, is three tarot cards worth of value more than what I get from the gift card? Gift card makes my all of my temperances better, so I'll take the gift card. And in a rare turn of events, he's not going to take the banana this time. He's too greedy. He wants the gift card value. Cool. All right. Uh, do we want a polychrome joker? Sometimes. Not now, though. There are not that many things that are really exciting for us to see. Uh, let's make room. Mm. Priest is first. Emperor. Purple cards. Judgment? Mm, not anymore. Gold? Ooh, that was close. I don't want to, you know, end the round early. Uh, or maybe I do want to end the round early. No, I want to keep discarding so that I can get more tarot cards. The thing I said about moving this so that this would process faster. Uh, I should be doing that, but I don't want to make the mistake of forgetting to switch it back. So... I'm not going to do that. Uh, I apologize. You, you're kind of on the hook. You, I guess you don't have to sit through it if you don't want to. You can skip ahead. If you haven't already. Uh, two purple cards here. Chariot. Uh, more stuff that we don't need. All right, here we go. Uh, since we got the petroglyph voucher, since we got the minus one ante, uh, we don't need the glass cards yet. And so we'll wait even longer before making glass cards. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's what the plan is. Alright, we've got gift card i'm gonna make room for a new unlock here rough gem gives us dollars for diamonds with the retrigger on the dusk cool uh we've got some stuff that we've seen before but i'm just gonna take it just to sell it celestial pack i'm gonna hold off on yeah now's a good time Planets. Okay, here's four planets. Celestial pack jumbo. That's four more planets. Five planets. Uh, so of the nine, you know, we've got two in the shop, two in the hand, five here. That's nine. Out of the one that we're missing is the one that we wanted. Bummer. Okay. Uh, justice. We said we can hold off on that.
There's the one that we wanted. I knew it was in there somewhere. Uh, not discovered here. All right, Matador gives you money when you trigger the boss blind ability. So for example, if the boss debuffs diamonds, this will give you money if you play a hand that has diamonds. So it's, it's per hand, not necessarily per card. Um, if the boss has an effect where, you know, maybe, let's just look at the bosses. It's been a while, so let's look at all these bosses. Uh, so for example, the serpent, when you play a card, you always draw three. That's sort of triggering the boss blind ability. That doesn't count uh, for the uh, matador. Or if I've got uh, all face cards are drawn face down, playing a face down card, that also doesn't count. Uh, if I have, you know, here cards drawn face down after a hand is played so playing a hand and then you draw the face down cards as a result of playing the hand that doesn't count as triggering the boss ability uh it's really just uh we've got you know the spades debuffed the clubs debuffed those are the the ones where there's like face cards debuffed that's going to trigger the ability no repeat hand type that's going to trigger the ability uh, play only one hot type that's going to trigger the ability so here you know lose one dollar per card played that's not going to trigger the ability so this matador i want to say it triggers on about uh, a little bit less than a third of the bosses and so most of the time it's going to do nothing for you and if it's not a boss round if it's just a normal small blind big blind it's also not going to do anything for you so maybe one out of every nine rounds this does something but when it does if you're getting eight dollars per hand you can get a lot of money all in one go so you know think about look ahead at what the bosses are most of the time expect that the matador is not going to do very much so you know if you got to replace it for some other value generator if you got to replace it from other score uh joker then do that um, but do scope out the bosses to see if you could potentially get some value out of this. Debuff cards and then the uh, bosses that care about, you know, whether or not you play certain hands. Those are the ones that this actually does something. All right, that's it for here. Go next. By the way, in this round, what's the boss? Ooh, that's gonna be brutal. All right, cards previously played are debuffed. And so these, you know, all of the gold seal cards that I'm playing to just discard them, those are gonna be debuffed. All of my uh, red seal polychrome cards, those are gonna be debuffed. And if they're debuffed, I'm not getting this idle value here. So something to think about. Probably this is a boss that we want to reroll. Or maybe, you know, like I said about looking ahead at the boss, if I knew what the boss was, maybe I would have tried not to play so many cards. Oops. But I think we can get around it. So here, all of these cards that I'm playing, these are going to be debuffed. I'd be surprised if there's any cards that aren't debuffed. Uh, another way to deal with this, uh, if you go, if you just skip and then you skip, then you didn't play any cards, so you didn't debuff any cards. That's another valid option. Three purples, 33 bucks. Temperance gets uh, you know a little bit more value because we had that gift card for one round. Death. So this gold card, I can make into a poly 
steel card. You know, with all the debuffs, this would be one of the few situations where the Matador actually works. If we weren't just going to re-roll the boss. <laughs> We've done it. Alright, Matador, you're giving me money? Too bad, get out of here. Alright, Luchador, this, you sell it, it's a one-time use, gonna disable the boss blind, remove the boss ability, and so if the boss is saying, hey, all your cards are debuffed, this will remove it, this is our get out of jail free card. Um, there is a legendary joker that all of the time disables all boss abilities uh, as a legendary joker that's kind of rare and hard to get. Uh, this, the way you should think about it is a lot of bosses you don't actually care about. A lot of bosses you can you know, figure your way around it. This only is active when you need it. So all of the times when you don't need it and you're just holding on to it, you can just keep it forever. Um, and so the same thing with the legendary one that disables all boss blind abilities. You don't need to disable all boss blind abilities. You only need to disable the one that actually kills you. And so this luchador being just an uncommon is almost as good as that legendary one. Remember, you don't need to disable all boss blinds. You just need to disable the one that will actually kill you. Temperance. Ah, here's a new one. Ah, but I got the Luchador. We could reroll the boss. This is going to be fine. <laughs> uh, we got to get the unlocks. I mean, we could always get the unlocks in the next run or, you know, some other run, but a. Hey, I'm greedy. Uh, we've got four planet cards here. Show me three different ones. Not those three ones. Sorry. I should have been more specific. Uh, let's see here. More jokers that I've seen before. I'm going to save my money for rerolling in the future. And go next. All right, reroll the boss. Must play five cards? No problem. One, two, three, four, five. I don't have to discard five, but I will. So if I want to get the money, I have to play five. Let's do it. Okay. Discard. Just, eh, let's discard four. All right. Paradoli I don't need. Hallucination I don't necessarily need either. And let's just play hands. Even though they don't score, they still count as playing hands uh, for the purposes of Dusk. Two more tarot cards. Cool. 
Ah, uh, here's another new unlock here. Planet cards in your consumable area give you molt for the specified poker hand. So the way this is supposed to work is you have your most played poker hand. The telescope voucher when you open a celestial pack guarantees that most played poker hand is in there even if you already have a duplicate. So even if there's a duplicate, it still puts the uh, planet card for your most played hand, it's in there guaranteed. However, or sorry, you know, when you do that, okay, it's guaranteed that you get the one. So, you know, maybe if flush five was our most played hand, we would guaranteed get the heiress planet card. And then what you can do is, I can hold on to an heiress planet card and that'll give me times 1.5, that's 50% more. That 50% more is worth, you know, if I'm already at level 40, 50% more is worth, you know, 10 to 15 planet cards. So it's, even though it prevents me from getting duplicates, I can hold on to it and it's still worth it. Um, the issue is, uh, you know, for us, our most played hand is actually high card. And so if I'm holding on to that uh, Eris planet card, I will never see another Eris planet card ever again. Also, then it makes it harder for me to generate my, uh, you know, tarot cards. But I think that's something I'm willing to live with. All right, so let's start re-rolling, looking for, maybe I can get my Eris planet card. Ooh, we got the shiny bean. Um, maybe... Nah, we don't need it. Okay, so we got the one Eris Planet card. Rather than hold on to this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it. And I'm going to try to make more copies with a fool. And so that way I can get 1.5 times another 1.5 times another 1.5 this um you know observatory effect uh if you have multiple copies of your planet card you know maybe you use fool to get multiple copies maybe you use uh the showman to get multiple copies these do stack you can have multiple activations of this times 1.5 actually uh you know, there's a legendary that every round it gives you a copy of one of your consumables, except it gives you a negative copy. So you can kind of keep getting more and more and holding them forever. It's the Perkeo uh, legendary. And so we figured out with that combined with the observatory and then, you know, maybe blueprint copying your Perkeo so that you can get more and more copies. You can kind of get, you know, three or four extra copies. That's, you know, times three, times five, every round your score keeps getting bigger and bigger higher and higher let's see here death card sure we'll take one of those uh if i use the death card that doesn't you know i won't be able to copy eris with a fool card so maybe i won't use this right away hey there's that luchador again uh twenty dollars from the hermit Okay, there goes the Eris card. Maybe we'll still try to make that plan work with the Eris card. All right, uh, 10 to the 20th, we can do that. Uh, Verdant Leaf, this is going to debuff all of our cards until we sell one Joker. That's easy to do. We got an extra Joker slot uh, that we can sell. We don't need to reroll that one. Uh, maybe I'm interested in a double tag. So if I take a skip now, this is equal to, this is just as good as whatever a skip that I take in the future is. So, you know, for example, this $24, I could double it. Uh, or I, you know, already have one here, I could triple it. Um, there's not necessarily that many skips that I'm looking for and not necessarily looking to copy them. So, you know, even with doubling the best one, there's not that many that I want that I would take anyway. But if I skip, 
then this run ends faster. And so maybe that's something that I'm interested in doing. Uh, I'll go ahead and take it. You know, there is the chance. There could be a tag that's worth taking. Even if it's a slim chance. Uh, let's see here. Do I want more purple seals or do I want to try to make more of these red steel cards? Let's make more red steel cards. I think we got plenty of purples. One, two, three, and I can I can start throwing away some of these polychrome ones because I have so many extras. Ah, there we go. We got the fool. Let's go death and temperance. And here we've got uh, in this round, we're on anti-16, so this is uh, 10 to the 20th. We're barely able to beat, and we said in the next anti, we won't be able to beat it. So now I am interested in trying to make glass cards. So we'll make a glass red seal polychrome glass card uh, for folks who are you know playing around with high score stuff in the January February demo. Uh, we call this a RPG red seal polychrome glass card, um, and I can get rid of this regular kind of polychrome card. Uh, I don't want to play it though. I do want to discard it. Uh, maybe I'll hold on to one in case I get another death card. Uh, or let's go wheel. Showman. Okay. Showman again coming back around trying to make copies of these uncommons. Uh, let's play the gold seal for the money not a lot of money but for a little bit of money let's play another gold seal All right, uh, regular polychrome. Or polysteel. And purple discard, okay. One, two, three, four, five. So we don't have as many steel cards as we had before. Uh, but I think we're hitting like 10 to the 23rd, right? So we sh this should be fine. He says. If not, it's been nice knowing you. Oh! 10 to the 22nd, uh, we did it. Technically, we got 10 times the score that we needed, uh, but 10 times is, you know, comes down to just a couple of steel and re-trigger effects. So we almost didn't make it. We for sure almost didn't make it. Uh, but since the steel card was, you know, steel with the re-trigger is only times two, if we scored half as much, we still would have had enough points, technically. So now I know I don't need to have any steel cards in hand. That's good information. All right, let's, uh, with the showman, I'm able to get duplicates. So it doesn't matter what I'm holding. Uh, here, justice on another poly steel. Turn it into glass, poly glass. Justice again for more poly glass. Hermit. Sorry, what's the boss again? Oh yeah, sell one joker. No problem. Uh, Priestess? Nope. Fool? All right, the fool we can use uh, either on justice. Let's see here, so I have one, 
two, three glass cards. Maybe I want to go up to five glass cards. All right, so that's it for re-rolling. The Joker that I want to sell, I'm going to sell this negative Joker. I want to keep the showman, you know, there's always a chance we could get another idol. All right, as for uh, this stuff that I'm looking at here, let's make more glass, polyglass. So here, polychrome into glass. Fool another polychrome into glass. And then since I don't need them, I will discard them. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, hangman I don't need. All right, that's it for my discards. I probably should have used my hands before discarding because I've got more purple seals in the deck. I've been doing it the whole time, but I just uh, forgot this time. Let's activate our desk. got four cards left I have the one more two more poly steel cards and I want to make sure I get my poly steel cards so I'll go one two three four and then that'll guarantee it And there we go, we drew all of our poly steel cards. Uh, even without the steel cards in hand, I know this is uh, 5, 10 to the 21st. Okay, money tree voucher. This is going to raise our interest even further. So right now we're getting $10 interest per round. This raises it up to $20 interest while you're holding on to $100, which is great. Uh, we've managed to stay above $100 this entire time. Uh, the Let's go Arcana pack. Maybe we'll get a death card. If not, it's fine. Okay, uh, here's something new. If we get rid of the showman, we have the Baron. And so, you know, we said the mime copies all your held in hand effects. The mime copies all of your steel cards. Uh, the red seal copies all of your steel effects as well. The Baron is another held in hand effect. So the Baron comboing it with the mime is kind of like, you know, we're doing idle with dusk. So you get played times two, re-trigger with Dusk. You can do kind of something similar with Baron and Mime, where if you have a large hand size, then you can, you know, get a lot of re-triggers from your held cards. And so knowing that this exists, knowing that the Baron uh, buffs up your Kings, when you start a new run, maybe something to consider is, if I wanna go into endless mode, Let's try to, from the beginning, let's try to make as many kings as we can. We talked about hack being two, threes, fours, and fives. We said there's other incentives for other ranks to focus on. This is the major incentive for focusing on kings. All right, and then also with that technology, then instead of the cards you play rewarding you, it's the cards you hold in hand re rewarding you. So. Uh, jokers that give you more hand size are going to give you more scoring or other ways to get more hand size. Uh, for example, there's a skip tag that gives you plus hand size and you can use these double tags to get more hand size. 
and you know that's not sustainable you're not going to be able to do that forever but for sort of like a one-off uh big hand big score uh you could you know get your personal best high score that way um or we said the Procaio uh, legendary joker copying your consumables you can copy cryptid consumable and cryptid is the uh, spectral card that gives you copies of cards so it works kind of like death it copies a card but it adds it to your hand and so if you use a lot of cryptid cards it increases your hand size and so that's another kind of you can build up these cryptids with the Perkeo legendary and then in a one shot use the cryptids fill up your hand uh, someone has you know it's only been two days since the game launch someone has already used that technology to break the scoring limit right so you know we've gotten up to here you know 10 to the 23rd or you know the first run that i did and recorded i got up to 10 to the 80 something 83rd or something like that um if you get past 10 to the 200 or 300 or something like that uh it says your score is just inf uh nan inf or something like that uh, you know, it goes beyond uh, the game engine's ability to report and record that score. Maybe in the future, that's something that I will experiment with. I will demonstrate, uh, but other people have already done it. I'm just here to, you know, try to teach you something. We don't have to get too crazy too fast. uh cola here if i want to get another uh unlock since this baron since this king is potentially giving me uh extra scoring and maybe i'm concerned i need the extra scoring uh, i'm not gonna mess around with unlocks anymore i'm gonna die soon anyway so i might as well do the best that i can survive as long as i can 10 to the 25th that's what i said it was gonna be all right let's go Question, how many glass cards do I need to play to get to 10 to the 25th? We were scoring 10 to the 22nd before, so from 22 to 25, I need 1,000 times my score. Playing one glass card, that's two times, and with the re-trigger, that's another two times, and then with the dusk, that's another two times, so in total, that's times eight. So if that's times eight, then I need three glass cards in order to get to times 1,000. Maybe that's how it works. Plus I have the extra benefit of the Baron. So I'm gonna ballpark it. I'm gonna say three glass cards is what we're going to need. If that is not it, then we die. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> All right, we got the Emperor. Ooh, death. All right, uh, I have potentially enough glass cards, but you know, they could break. And so maybe I'll hold on to the death for that reason. Make some extras, you know, expecting them to break. Maybe I'll do this. All right, we drew our glass card, so I'll make this regular steel card into glass, and we'll hold on to it. Um, I believe we threw away two, and then remaining we've got one. Wait, is that grayed out? Man, it's hard to tell. Okay, so here's one, two. That's two left in the deck, and I need to play three total so I can afford to discard one. So maybe I'll do like this. And then we'll play just to get rid of it like this. And you can see with the Kings here, uh, this is then re-triggered by all of these. So the first one that you get, the Baron is gonna be worth more than a mime. 
because this gives you something that is then copied by your red seals. Um, but then when you combine them, you know, maybe copying the mime is better than copying the baron. The same kind of thing with the idle and the dusk re-triggers. You want to kind of have a mix of both, not go all in on one. Mm, I'm starting to think maybe I only need two glass cards, but I'm gonna play three just to play it safe uh, Another thing to consider if I play two cards instead of five cards, then I have more cards left over for the king, or maybe if I play, let's say, four cards, four of a kind. If I had leveled up both of these, flush five and four of a kind, there exists a universe in which your four of a kind is big enough, close enough to a flush five, that the extra molt from the steel cards combined with the baron is worth more than playing five. That would be true if we didn't already have the idol. And so, you know, if I'm going for Mime plus Baron, maybe the thing that I want to do is I want to play four of a kind, or I want to play three of a kind, instead of playing five of a kind. All right, but since we do have the idol and we do have the dusk, we'll go ahead and run these out. Uh, maybe quick calculation here. We said with no glass, it was better to do you know, here's the idol and then dusk and then red as a re-trigger. So here's three plus one plus one. So that's a total of nine times twos. But now with the glass, that's another plus three. So that's 12 times twos. Or if I do it this way, it's three times twos times four. So now we're in a situation where it kind of works out the same. Uh, if you have the glass card, it doesn't matter if we go idle here or if we go dusk here. You know, one way it's three times four, the other way it's four times three. All right, so there we're able to hit uh, the 10 to the 26th. That's 10 times. That means we could have had one less glass card. Two glass cards would have done it, um, which is important to know because we now just lost a card. We lost one of our glass cards. You do get an achievement if you play a hand in which two glass cards break. All right, we've got uh, the Cloud Nine here, another unlock, and it's an uncommon unlock, but I wanna keep trying to survive. We can always unlock this in a future run. And so let's see here, do I wanna make more glass cards? Um, I don't need to right away, so maybe I will save that for the future. more glass cards in our future. Um, so now what am I re-rolling for? Um, I could still get, you know, potentially the brainstorm is kind of like blueprint, it copies a joker. Um, maybe I haven't had that unlocked yet. You know, if I go to the collection here, the brainstorm joker, where is it supposed to be? I think it's, you know, one of these that I don't have unlocked yet. So maybe there's not actually anything that I could re-roll for. You know, maybe I could re-roll for some planet cards, re-roll for some tarot cards, uh, temperance for the money, wheel of fortune, maybe I'll get polychrome. More unlocks that I don't have. This I just unlocked on this run. 
All right, there's nothing that we need to be re-rolling for. Let's just go next. All right, here's so that same sort of idea. You know, I could take this double tag and then that increases the value of a future tag that I take um, with the problem of, you know, I'm already barely scoring enough here with my glass cards and maybe in the next round, I'm not gonna be able to score, you know, 10 to the 30th, even with all of my glass cards. So to give us access to the most possible rounds, probably you don't skip here. But let's gamble. Maybe we'll get something good. This is not the correct thing to do. This is not the safe thing to do. Uh, let's see here. We've got our only hand. One hand is the final hand is dusk activated. This is actually great for us. This is perfect. So we can discard don't need any of this. Uh, we've got two of our glass cards. We only need two. We don't need three. So maybe I'll discard like this. Uh, there's another glass card that I don't need. Maybe I'll discard like this. Claim. We don't need a third glass card. Let's see if we get punished. If we do pass, it will be close. Look at that. Uh, you know, 8.7. This is just two times. If we had one less two times, we still would have survived, but like I said, it was close. Calculated. Uh, another undiscovered voucher. Liquidation makes things even cheaper in the shop. And so now, you know, this tower card, I can buy it for $1, I can sell it for $1. And so it's much easier to cycle through the shop, cycle through whatever kind of consumables. Let's go looking for, I don't know, more planets, more tarot I don't necessarily need except for uh, death cards maybe. Some rare joker that could help me um, that I'm not remembering, that I'm not thinking of. Uh, Eris card, we said because of the observatory gives me times 1.5. That technically does a little bit. It's not a whole lot. You know, to get from 10 to the 20th to 10 to the 21st, that's 10 times. And so this 50% is not, you know, times 1.5 is not 10 times. It takes a lot of 1.5s in order to get to 10 times. So it's not gonna matter super much. All right, here we've got uh, more stuff that we don't need. Uh, what I really want is a fool card, so we can try to copy this. Fool card, maybe? Uh, if not, that's okay. So, I will hold on to the Eris. The Celestial Pack can't give me another Eris, so I'm just going to go to the next round. 10 to the 30th. So this is... 10,000 times more than the previous one. That's a lot of times too that it's gonna take me. I'm gonna need all of my glass power. And it ends up, probably we're gonna die and probably all of these uh, skip tags will have not been worth it. But you know, what else are we doing anyway? So we're looking for 100% of our glass cards. Let's try to find all of them. Temperance, sure. E one, two. I'm gonna play these cards to get rid of them. Um, yeah, just like that.
discarding for the tarot cards. All right, we've got all of our glass cards. We've got one more discard that we can do. Wheel, foil doesn't matter. And now we're just gonna play our hands to activate our Dusk. All right, the ideal scenario, what we're hoping to get is we're hoping to draw a red seal card. That would give us the most score. Purple seal is not gonna do it, but you know, the difference between having a red seal or not is only an extra times two anyway. It's really gonna come down to, are the glass cards going to do it for us? Um, I said, you know, between having, here's, four X's, or sorry, uh, three X's here, another times two, and then the polychrome effects, so that's kind of five X's. Maybe now is the situation where it's better to do the re-triggers instead of doing an extra idol. Let's do that. It's gonna be close um, either way, you know, between the two of these, I think it's close. Um, I think because all of these are glass and because they're polychrome, it's better to do the retrigger. And that's it, that's anti-18. Uh, we ended up dying, we played high card 138 times and the best we could do was 10 to the 29th. Uh, we will be continuing uh, moving on with our daily series, uh, trying out different decks and we're not gonna go endless all the time, we're not gonna go this long, I just, you know, we had the good setup and so felt like the appropriate time to demonstrate. Uh, I will put this seed in the description if you wanna try this out yourself. All right, have a good one, everyone.